News in the world of Bellwright. Let's go. I'm not sure how many patches Donkey Crew has done to Bellwright already. I think five. I would have to go and look. But they have been super busy working behind the scenes and answering questions left and right all hours of the day and night, slinging answers around like they're slinging hash in a greasy spoon diner. <laughs> Of course, I thank everyone for joining them in Carvinia. Talk about how Bellwright is a work of passion and appreciate everyone reporting bugs, crashes, and other issues. So let's look at what changes have been made. Fix the crash when failing to connect to co-op game. I know there were quite a few people that had that one. Some people had none of it at all, but it seems to be working better now. Optimized replication of map icons could cause disconnects or incorrect info displayed in co-op. Fixed items having incorrect attributes when damaged. When starting a new game, player doesn't start hungry. You have some higher HP and stamina for a longer sprint. That's a nice little bonus that they gave us right there. Less huffing and puffing at the beginning. It goes right along with them giving us a couple more hours of daylight when we first start the game. Fixed issue with companions not equipping torch correctly. Fixed crash caused by equipping torch. Fixed various issues impacting VRAM usage. Fixed some issues with localization. So they're continuing to work on performance. Performance has been really good for me, I gotta say. And then we got even more from another patch note. This is my favorite one. Fixed bandits attacking a player right after waking up. That was harsh, man. I was about to like try and fence off my entire village. Optimized AI visibility traces. Optimized decorative meshes in villages. Reduce stamina consumption when sprinting on roads to 33%. Okay, that's cool. One of the devs had said that they didn't know if they were going to add any kind of buffs to roads or anything like that, like Enshrouded does, but they did. That's really cool. I appreciate that. And yes, we are going to be able to make roads of our own at some point. I don't know if those will have buffs, but you will be able to make paths through your village. Adjusted farm research cost removed the garlic requirement. <laughs> People are having trouble finding garlic. I, I might do a whole little short video on where garlic is. Made deer slightly easier to hunt. Okay, maybe this is my favorite one. We'll see. Are, are they not as fast? Do they not detect you as early? I'm looking forward to seeing what the difference is. Fixed not being able to join a co-op game when the host has a game menu open. Fixed window scrolling in containers. Fixed bow sheathing animation not playing while moving. Fixed Warhammer damage type being slashing. Fixed localization issues with simplified Chinese, Japanese, and Arabic. I've been looking at a lot of questions coming in, getting ideas for guides that I need to make. I have a lot of them planned and coming out. If there's a specific guide that you think would be real, that you think would be really helpful for people, comment below and let me know what it is that y'all would like some more information on. I'm super excited about Bellwright and I'm going to continue diving into all the details. So make sure to subscribe for more Bellwright. Until next time, happy gaming.